With our latest update, we have added a new feature, which is called Alternative Strategies. With the Alternative Strategies feature, you can test variations of your current trading approach and compare it to your actual trading strategies. For example, you can test different stop loss approaches, different take profit approaches, different ways to manage your trades and other changes. To see how it works, we just first add a new alternative strategy and then we can change the name here. You can choose a name that helps you to remember what the strategy is all about. Then you choose the setup that you want to test. For example, we can test a variation of the pullback strategy. When you open the new alternative strategy, you have the box information where you can capture your thoughts, your notes and other important things that you want to remember. For example, what are the changes that you want to test? How do they specifically look like? So that when you come back to the alternative strategies, you can easily remember it. Here, further down, you will see a list of all the trades that have assigned the pullback setup in your actual trading journal. So those are the actual trades that you have taken that are assigned with this setup. Here on the right you see this is the equity graph for the pullback trades only. Then what you can do is just one by one open the trades of the pullback setups. Here you'll see now a new tab open up and then you can note the alternative outcome. For example, you can see this trade has a actual realized profit of loss of zero. So this was a break even trade. It also has an R multiple of 0.01. Under alternative strategies, you can then look at the trade and then you enter the potential alternative outcome for the specific trade if you would have used the different target stop loss trade management approach that you want to test. For example, let's assume this trade instead of a break even trade would have been a trade where you ended up making 75 US dollar. You only have to fill out one or the other, you don't have to fill out both, but of course you can. We save the trade and then as you add the alternative strategy outcomes to the trades that are listed here, you will see that this red graph also adjusts and then you can compare the two graphs very effectively. So then you just go through each trade one by one, you open it up and you evaluate for the specific trade that has been taken already what would the alternative outcome be? For example, instead of a 279 outcome, this trade may have realized a profit of only 189. You save it, then it updates here in the table, and then you keep going one by one by one. And then after you have updated all the profits or all the R multiple, you can nicely compare the two trading approaches. In green, this is your actual realized trading performance based on the trades that are in your actual trading journal. And the red graph is the alternative strategy, in this case in profit loss. If you want to switch between R multiple and if you've entered R multiple, which I have not in this case, you can also use the switch here. One tip to easily remember this alternative strategies, especially if you have multiple, change the name. For example, let's assume we have tested a different trade management approach. We can capture it here. Now, after we have added the passive trade management name here, what happens is if you open one of those trades with the alternative strategy and go to the tab, you will see the name here. So if you have added more than one alternative strategy, this will help you immensely because then you can very easily remember the different alternative strategies. You can add multiple alternative strategies to just a single setup, but you can also, of course, test different setups. Here you find a quick breakdown. How many trades are there in your journal with a specific setup? You can compare the two win rates. The first win rate is the one of your actual trading performance and this is the alternative strategy. Here we also have a breakdown of the profit and the R multiple. You can get very creative with the alternative strategies. It's a great time saver. If you want to test different approaches to your actual trading performance, you can do that in no time and then find out what the best approach is for your trading.